Olá pessoal do Coletivo Inovação, estamos aqui mais uma vez juntos com uma pessoa muito especial, muito querida, que gentilmente cedeu uma parte do seu tempo para estar aqui com a gente hoje. Thank you Dr. Goswami for joining us today and we are here together to talk a little bit about your most recent book, uh, Economy of the Consciousness, and to talk a little bit about sustainable life also. Thank you. Good. Uh, well, quantum economics is a uh, book that is the result of applying the quantum worldview. As you know, everybody knows, I guess, um, we in Brazil and most of the world uh, have an economic system that we call capitalism. The idea is that if uh, the producer and the consumer both concentrate on their personal profits, the selfish aspect of the human being. Mm -hmm. uh, then um, the movement of the market will take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are also problems associated with the fact that suppose the selfish interest conflicts with the collective interest. Mm. Human beings are social beings after yeah, all. Sure. We live in communities. What the world view is telling us without any uncertainty that everyone is interconnected with everyone else. Yeah. That interconnection is as real as our selfishness is real. As our materialism. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that has to be put in too. Yeah. So this is put beautifully by recognizing that yes, we have a homo economicus, which is selfish, but we also have a homo communus, which mm -hmm. has to be included. Adam Smith did not know the complete nature of the human being, that mm -hmm. we are both economicus, homo economicus and homo communus. Mm -hmm. Adam Smith did not know that there is, aside from material, we also have the subtle. For yes, the human being, the well-being sure. extends to mental, vital, spiritual, yeah. all sectors of well-being. Yeah. So if we, if we put these sectors into the economic equations, what then? Large-scale deployment of vital energies will become the next huge expansion of the economy. As you know, uh, the one big difficulty with depending on only material resources is sustainability. We can never sustain economy just Yes. material resources. Yes. If we put in the vital energy and mental meaning, spiritual values and wholeness, mm -hmm. these things are infinite. So the sustainability problem forever disappears. Yes. And finally, the problem of homo communis, that of course will take time, but it is a fact that if we start consuming vital energies, mental meaning and spiritual values, we start changing. Mm -hmm. And then people from inside will not feel like destroying their environment because they will realize the environment is us, that mm -hmm. it's not separate from us. Mm -hmm. So people will transform. From where came this inspiration to start your, your activism? Long time ago, in 1973, I, um, at that time I was a professor at a university and uh, doing uh, as well as a physics professor can do, but my uh, life uh, caught up with me. And it was exposed to me at this conference where I was giving a talk, and I just felt uh, that I was inadequate and the rest of the people who are giving talks are doing better, they are much poor, uh, getting much more, much better reception, and I felt extreme jealousy. Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy the whole time. So yes. at the end of the evening, I go outside and uh, the ocean air hits me. The place was on the ocean, fortunately. And the thought comes, why do I live this way? Along with the conviction that I don't need to, I don't have to. Mm -hmm. I have to change, I have to integrate how I live and how I make a living. Mm -hmm. Physics has taken me over in this very academic way, which is completely detached from life. This is not the way to do science. How can science not contribute to life? Yes. So I got into thinking of how uh, to do science that will contribute to my living. 
and found quantum physics very quickly and recognized, ah, the understanding of quantum physics has to lead to consciousness itself and therefore yes. discovered the nature of consciousness from that question. And eventually, uh, after I have been publishing for a while, I realized that the culture just does not permit uh, the acceptance of this worldview very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I became an activist and started living the quantum way so that the activism is based on, based on working my talk and that's what attracts people, I think, to this new, new wave of activism. Mm -hmm. This is not like ordinary activism where you remain the same and you, other, you want other people to change. In quantum physics, our motto is to change ourselves and yes. change the world along with us. What would you recommend to the to those people that are watching us? What would you recommend them they could change or they could uh, behave to start in this in this uh, transition to the quantum economy that you were just talking about? We leave we leave too much to the producer, um, and whatever the producer produces with marketing technique to get our attention and we buy them. Of course we buy them, but they don't give us the satisfaction that we seek, yes. so we buy them again. We mm -hmm. buy them again, and every time they fool us because they don't satisfy. But we don't realize why they don't satisfy. Because the satisfaction itself is vital energy. It's not the material thing. A woman who is bored with her life goes and buys shoes to find satisfaction is what she's looking for is not shoes. She already has 500 pairs. Yes. What she's looking for is some joy, some happiness some that her life is not providing us, some satisfaction. And how can she get that? She can get that by engaging in the subtle energies, engaging in meaning, engaging in vital energy, engaging in spiritual values. And if we start doing that, then the producers are bound to respond by starting to produce these goods in large scale. Behavioral change has to come from inside. So the tactic of uh, quantum activism is a little bit different. We um, want people to change first, and their behavior will automatically adjust. If I become more vitalized and realize that I am full of vitality, then I will feel my energies not only in the lower centers, which are called chakras in the east, mm -hmm. but also in the higher chakras, beginning with the heart. Yes. And when I feel energy in the heart, guess what? I will have to respond to you with kindness and love and empathy and not with the usual selfishness that comes from our naval chakra. So it's all a question of how much vital energy do I have. If I am no vital energy person, then energy will stay in my lower chakras, too much preoccupation with survival, and I become selfish. As soon yes. as I have my lower chakras, so much vital energy that the lower chakras are all filled up, then you know, Maslow wrote a paper in, uh, in the 60s already pointing out that when our lower needs are satisfied, we go for higher needs. Thank you very much, Dr. Very Goswami. É, pessoal, esse é o Dr. Amit Goswami, que eu tive o prazer de conversar aqui hoje. E vamos conectar nós mesmos com essa energia vital e para a gente caminhar rumo a essa economia é, quântica. Né? Gente, obrigado, um abraço e até o próximo vídeo. Parabéns por ter chegado até aqui. E eu vim aqui rapidamente só para te lembrar que, a, que é até o dia 31 de janeiro, terça-feira, o prazo para você adquirir o um curso do Dr. Amit Goswami de ativismo quântico com o nosso bônus do Coletivo Inovação. Esse é um bônus é, exclusivo, a gente não, não, não vende esse acesso mais. Ao, a, aos conteúdos do primeiro Congresso Nacional de Vida Sustentável. São conteúdos que impactaram a vida de mais de 9 mil pessoas em mais de 44 países. É, várias delas é, já relataram para a gente que se abriram para novas dimensões da, sua, da sustentabilidade tá? e começaram a, a, até a meditar, a criar projetos novos na área socioambiental ou potencializaram os seus projetos que já existiam. 
na área socioambiental, enfim, é, a gente tem vários relatos de pessoas que foram impactadas muito positivamente por esse bônus, que agora é exclusivo, não está mais à venda, e que como eu quero que você entre nesse movimento junto com a gente, a gente está dando a nossa dose de incentivo para você fazer o, o curso de ativismo quântico com esse nosso bônus exclusivo, tá bom? Então, é só até terça-feira, dia 31, que a gente está oferecendo isso. Então, fica ligado no prazo. Clica aqui em algum lugar dessa tela para você adquirir agora o curso de ativismo quântico do Dr. Amit Goswami com o nosso bônus. Então, vai lá, não perde o prazo, não deixa para depois, tá bom? Um abraço!